Hey, Steve Bezik Architect. Yeah. Welcome back. So, first video of a new series. If you notice in the playlist there, I call this the Construction Journal. Um, one of the realizations I came to recently, I was putting some presentations together, and I realized, you know what? I have literally thousands and thousands of photos that are usually of uh, pretty particular concepts. And I thought, hey, why don't we do a, you know, playlist of videos and this, I don't know, it can go on forever probably um, because I have a ton of videos and or, or photos and we're taking more as we go. But anyways, basically it is, you know, one, two, three, four photos of something. I took that photo for a reason. We're going to pinpoint that reason. They're very concise discussion here where we're going to talk about one thing, one thing only, and uh, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you like this format, if it's working for you. Um, you know, I have the vibe board here, which is a huge game changer because it basically lets me mark up things and have this discussion with you. So anyways, let's get rolling. So first up, PVC vent pipe. Yeah, what is it doing? Why should I care? Right? Notice that there is something happening on the wall there where it comes in or out to be determined. And then this one here goes in or out and obviously they are connected. Now, also notice this one is somewhat gasketed and you can see there's a little gasket inside there. So it's making a suggestion that that's probably an airtight connection, right? And obviously we're all sealed up there and all the pipe is sealed, but obviously it's not taking extremely high temperatures. Um, I will clue you in. Air is moving in that direction. It's actually coming in and it's coming in from the outside, you can see here, and there's just a little valve there. You can turn it on and off. That allows, you know, obviously air to come in. But when this thing wants to be in a passive status, then you can turn it off and not have that air leakage contribute to the house. Not that it's going to matter much because it's all pretty much a sealed system. And if we go here, yes, this is a uh, European style wood stove. This one here is actually manufactured by a company called Reyes. Um, and you can see that inlet basically connects to the back and it comes in here. And that's what feeds that fire chamber with outside air. Now, this is all a fully sealed gasketed type system here so you put your firewood in here we bring the air in it combusts and it basically leaves so it's a sealed unit the air in here never communicates with the air in the room the only thing that gets transferred is the heat to the room all right it's a totally sealed unit these are really good when we're building our high performance passive house inspired passive houses so that i don't get any penalty of air leakage because nothing in the unit is connected to the house and nothing in the house can really leak outside the unit unless i leave the door open obviously because the flue is open but once that door is closed it becomes a system where air comes in, like I said, gets combusted, and then basically goes up and where the vent pipe meets our air barrier, there's a metal flange, and that gets all sealed up. So it's a uh, really, really good unit to uh, separate um, the outside air, inside air, but be able to still have that fire or that you know, using wood as your fuel for a high performance home. So anyways, hopefully you enjoyed that. Until next time, long live our buildings.